All right. This is another feeding video. We got boiled rice and a couple cans of mixed vegetables. See, carrots are good for dogs' fission. String beans and peas are good for digestion. I just finished boiling a pot of pinto beans. What you do is overnight you let your bag of pinto beans soak in the bowl. Then in the morning you rinse it out and then you cook on slow. See when the beans pop like that, that's how you know you're done. But let me mix this up. Okay. This is why I use this is just an old protein scoop. Two scoops of these is one cup equals one cup. Two scoops of these equals one cup. I put half a cup each bowl. If you don't know how to portion your meat out, your ground beef, you can buy a pack of hamburger patties. And then you can do it like that. If we got puppies, this is perfect for them. Not little and not too much. This is for puppies. Perfect portion. Buy a pack of hamburger patties. Alright. Put that shit in there. This is for the big dogs. Sit down. What's that bitch in half? Make sure the shit is unthawed, right? Unthawed overnight. Alright. Okay, now. Once again, boiled rice, a couple cans of mixed vegetables, and boiled picto beans. The beans with the beans of protein. Okay, the carrots is good for the fission, eye fission. The peas, peas and string beans are good for digestion, help the dog shit. The potatoes, that's another source of carbohydrate protein. All right, got it all mixed up. Now, Get your scoop, get your big scoop, drop it in the bowl. Big scoop, drop it in the bowl. Big scoop, drop it in the bowl. Now you mix all the shit up. 
Okay, <clears throat> now that you got your meat mixed in with your dog food and your combination dog food, you can feed them like that without, like you don't even have to put this in there. I just put it in there because I'm trying to get rid of this dog food. They really don't like this beef kind. They like the chicken kind better. But you can feed them dogs just like this, how this is, and that's fine. You make sure you keep your dogs outside so use the bathroom. At least 15 minutes after they finish eating. Okay, I got one egg. You can do this with your puppies and your adults. But some dogs don't like eggs. And most dogs don't like the shell. And another thing, they do sell the eggshells as a powder form. Or you could keep your eggshells yourself, dry them out, put them inside a the blender, sprinkle it on the food. The eggshells are good for the bones and joints. This is calcium. Eggshells are calcium. The egg yolk is good for the skin and coat. Plus it's a protein. And it adds fat. You don't want to get your hands dirty. Use a spoon. But yeah, you just gotta see what your dogs like. And once again, I feed different foods. All my shit is not the same. The only thing that might be the same is the rice. Rice is the main stable of when you're making homemade dog food. Like, you get rice and lamb and gravy, chicken and gravy and rice and shit like that. you notice rice is, is in everything. Yeah, rice is a grain, but it's a good grain. But yeah, see, it depends on your dog's appetite. They might finish this bowl, and if they do clean it out and look like they're still hungry, just give them one more scoop of this, and then that'd be it. That's your first meal of the day, or as your last meal of the day. All right, y'all. Y'all like my channel. Y'all got friends. Like my video. Share my shit. Subscribe to me. I will be posting more videos, different videos, even training videos. All right, y'all. Have a good day.